Hi guys, had a request to make some propellers the other day out of paper or cardboard and I made a couple and I thought I might do another one that uses a plastic bottle top as the hub and I'm not sure whether I'll use paper, cardboard or plastic for the blades of the propeller but the principle will be the same as the one that I made from the uh, cork which is still basically the same principle as the one that was made from a, a ready-made plastic lid. What we need is to just cut some slots at the right angle so that it turns the paper or the plastic or the cardboard so that it bites into the air as you spin the wheel or spin the propeller. So that's all I'll do is I'll cut some slots into there Drill a hole through the middle. I'll probably put a bit of plastic tubing through there and glue it in place so that we can slide it over the shaft of the motor and see if that will work for us. It's actually quite soft. It probably have been better to have left it on the bottle to hold it still while I cut it. the idea. So we'll cut a propeller out of this piece of card. Oops, do make it an inch wide. Oops, do go for six inches. Hold it on there, and then make some sort of a propeller shape. That's our propeller. The idea is to try and slot it in and twist it at the same time. There we go. So now we need to put a shaft through the middle. What I think I'll do is I'll use this the plastic tube from this cotton bud to put a shaft through the middle and then put a bent paper clip through the middle of that to actually connect it to the rubber bands.
push that right the way through. Not big enough. some hot glue on that just to hold it in place although it feels like it doesn't need it Yeah, that might be alright, but I'll still put some hot glue on it because I like using hot glue. I better just show you. This is one of my really old rubber band powered cars that I've kept the chassis, so I've put new wheels on it. We've got a bent paper clip on the front here to hook the rubber band onto. And I've added these polystyrene, um, what can we call it? Well, it's a tripod, or a mount, or a fin. I'll put a plastic tube on top of that, and then the propeller will sit up there. Right, another cotton bud. Glue that in place. Paper clip, what did I do with that? There we are, paper clip. So we need a hook at one end. So, to straighten this up a bit so it goes through the middle of the tube without jamming. And through there, then I'll bend the end over and glue it on so it holds in place. Should do. Test run time. Okay, let's see how it goes. Didn't quite go straight. We'll give that another go. I 
think it's a bit out of balance and it bounced around a bit so it didn't go straight as I say. Okay, try that again. Proves it works. Summary time. What have we got? We've got one of my old rubber band powered car chassis, which I've put a fin at the back here, just a bit of polystyrene uh, hot glued on there so we can mount the propeller. And we've got a bent paper clip at the front to hook the rubber band onto. So that's our rubber band motor. But the important thing of this video is the propeller, which is a plastic bottle top that I've just cut a couple of slots in it and pushed a piece of card or cardboard through it, and that's made our propeller. Then we used the plastic tubes from uh, Cotton Buds, that's the shaft to mount propeller on and a bent paper clip through the middle to actually connect the rubber band at that end to the propeller at that end and it works very simple job done <laughs>